Well, new tonight at 6, it's a building in downtown Buffalo that's been the focus of redevelopment for years. And despite an original timetable to have it finished in 2018, construction is at a standstill right now. Two on your side's Nate Benson takes a look at what's going on with the Trico building. This was a project I was very hesitant about uh, from the beginning. And by all accounts, the Trico building redevelopment was plagued from the beginning. In 2016, the Crow Group was awarded a $3 million tax break from the ECIDA. One of the items highlighted in that agreement is that the Trico redevelopment would create 130 full-time jobs and an unspecified number of construction jobs. In 2016, Peter Krogh said he hoped to have the project, which would be a hotel and mixed-use space as well as a 300-car indoor garage, would be completed by 2018. In fact, demolition on the property didn't even begin until summer 2019. And then the pandemic hit in spring of 2020 and everything came to a screeching halt. So we're going to put out an executive order today, New York State on pause, policies that assure uniform safety for everyone. Construction across the state was eventually allowed to start again, but it didn't at the Trico building. In fact, excavators and construction trailers have been removed, and a new fence that obscures the pile of debris that crews left behind has been installed. City lawmakers aren't sure what's going on with the site. I've not been contacted by anybody. Um, we haven't had any contact. We were told that it was because of COVID. Um, at this point, you kind of have to bite that and, 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 and digest it um, and, and hope that when COVID is done, uh, that they will be uh, back uh, doing construction. You know, there's, there's construction projects going on all over the region uh, during COVID, so I have no idea. Two on your side reached out to the Crow Group for comment, and I was told by the project manager of the Trico redevelopment that the company is not making a statement at this time. I also reached out to the ECIDA to find out if the construction stoppage has impacted the tax incentive that the Crow Group received in 2016. After repeated attempts to get clarification and information from Mayor Brown's office, they have not answered any of my questions. I'm going to keep looking into this because right now the only developments that have occurred on the Trico building site have been a large section of the building that was demolished and a pile of debris that was left behind when crews left. For Two on Your Side, I'm Nate Benson.